Welcome to Bangkok, the land of smiles, sunshine and a lot of buzz. Welcome to Bangkok Buzz. They say if you love what you do, you'll never have to work a day in your life. Our first guest completely epitomizes that. She believes that beauty lies skin deep and also believes that if you give a woman the right shade of lipstick, she will conquer the world. That's right, we're talking about our one woman glam machine, Ambika. Hello Bellas, welcome back to Get Glamorous with me Ambika. Today we are, I'm deciding to do a glamorous look for you now that the festive season is around the corner so we can play with all that glitter and have all that jazz going on like no one's business, right? So let's get started, have some fun. So friends, I have with me today my model Shalini. Hello Shalini, Hello. thank you for being with us. So today we're doing a glamorous festive look on Shalini. Her base has already been done. We have used this a red earth uh, glow illuminator. Now that it's a festive look, a contour is very necessary. I'm using a cream contour today and we'll top that with powder and powder contour as well. Friends, I am going to give you a makeup tip for the day. That is when you want a winged liner and you're having trouble creating a winged liner. You know, like it, I always say, never ask a woman why she's late if she's wearing a winged liner. So this will make your job much easier. Use this surgical tape, rub it once or twice on your skin so you're removing the excess glue from it and then apply it diagonally from the corner of her eyes Till the end the tail of her eyebrows another tip I'm going to add today is you can always take a piece of tissue be it a pie of tissue or even the uh, kitchen tissue roll that's thicker than this and just put it here so that we avoid any fallouts once your base is all really done because if your shadow drops off it's going to mess up your base so we're going to stick this right here any fallouts are going to fall out on the tissue. You don't have to buy those, uh, you know, shadow shields which come very expensive. A tissue will do just the same thing. Now I'm using a base for the eyes. And what does a base do? It helps to bring out the color of the eyeshadow more and also makes the eyeshadow last much longer. Lift up the arch of the eyebrows so you're covering each and every area on the lids. Now I'm using a pigment and going to mix some Fix Plus in it. What happens is when you use a Fix Plus on a pigment, it gives a more metallic look. And here I will also guide you five ways how you can use your pigments. Now of course we're done with the eyelids. I'm going to go and work on the crease. I prefer to layer different colors on the crease so I always start off with a transition color that's light and very much close to the color of my client's eyelids. In that way I'm able to build more color. We always say less is more but for eyeshadows more is more because the more you layer colors, the more you blend, the more blown out look you get and it's really beautiful. So I'm going to start with one of the lighter colors I have on my palette. Now I'm going to change my brush to this uh, small dome brush because I want to emphasize only at the crease. I don't want the darker color to go above that or on the lid. Moving on, I'm going to be using a gel eyeliner of Maybelline. Friends, this is one of the most reasonable and easy on your wallet. And I think for me, it's my ride or die products that I have staple in my collection. You can use anything you want, but this is what I really prefer uh, compared to high-end brands. So now this is the tape is going to help us get a perfect winged liner. Now 
Now that we are done with the wing liner, I'm going to remove the tape. Now that we are done with the upper eye liner, we're going to go and line the uh, lower waterline. Moving on, now we're going to highlight the brow bone. Lift up her eyelids, let the client look down. It's time for mascara. I want to share with you a beauty hack, my friends. If you have already done your base, and there is some fallout of pigment or glitter on your face, this is what you can do. Use the same surgical tape that I had used earlier and just go and press over all the fallouts. Of course, when contour is done, the look is incomplete without highlight. favorite product what I'm going to use right now is the banana powder from the Anastasia contour kit to highlight the areas we're going to powder the face now I'm going to do a powder contour on where we had applied the cream contour Okay, now I'm going to use a spoolie to brush over her eyebrows. And I'm going to begin filling in her eyebrows. Now, we're going to highlight her cheekbones. Now, with intense eyes, I would not want to give too much color on the cheeks. So, I would rather go for Harmony by MAC. now a pinch of blush and the apples of her cheeks now I'm going to just prep her lips before applying the red lip color I'm going in with a, a red lip liner friends for some with this look it might seem too intense to have smoky eyes and so much happening on the eyes and yet using a red lip i want to stretch you all out of your comfort zone if this is an optional uh, look for the lips you can go with nude as well but i want to use the red to show you how this would look however whatever makes you confident whatever makes you feel like you just go for it my friends i'm just giving you certain options okay Bellas, with red lips, it has to have a perfect crisp finish. So another tip for you is take a lighter concealer than that of the skin of your skin and just clean out the edges. So angels, here is the complete festive look. I hope you all have enjoyed it. Please give me your feedback and try it out at home. If you want to contact me, here are my details. And before I leave, I would like to thank Panipa for their venue and hairstyling. And of course, it's time for me now to go and enjoy some glitz and glam with my model. Until then, over to Seetal. Thank you and bye-bye. Wow, Ambika's makeover is really tempting me to go shopping right now. But I think I'll control myself just a little bit as we meet Mr. Simon Sani in our next segment. But for now, let's take a short break.